everybody, it's Jeff from New York, and I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City, currently staying at the Borgata tonight, the Borgata Hotel and Casino. I've been uh, in the room all afternoon editing videos, and uh, I had the Food Network on in the background. I haven't eaten in about six or seven hours, and between not eating, the Food Network, and knowing that there's a big all-you-can-eat buffet downstairs, I've been getting kind of hungry. So I have a ticket for that buffet. Uh, I have to head over to the rewards desk and pick that up. Then I'm going to head right over to the Borgata Buffet, all you can eat, and I bring you guys along with me. Let's go see what it looks like tonight, shall we? This was recorded springtime of this past year, and it's my second dinner here at the Borgata Buffet. I did two dinners and a lunch, and I have to tell you there's not much difference between the lunch and dinner buffet. As you'll see, the carving station's a little different for dinner, but if you're one of those people who go last minute for lunch so you can have the lunch buffet as well as the dinner buffet, you're going to be disappointed because not much is going to change. If you notice the sign, breakfast is $20.99, lunch is $24.99, and dinner is $38.99. I had a $25 meal comp, and uh, it pretty much paid for most of my dinner. I still had to shell out a little bit of money, uh, plus tip and gratuity, but regardless, pretty good bargain for what I'm about to eat. You guys know how I do my buffets. I do a flyby, check out everything, and then start loading up my plate by station. So this is the salad station, and it looks like the Borgata is still using those bowls that look like urinals. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you get turned off when I say that, but these bowls really do remind me of that. And uh, a lot of you agree in the comments. So if you guys watch the New York channel regularly or visit Atlantic City regularly, you'll know that there's only two hotel and casino buffets available here in town. The Borgata, which is where we are right now, and the Hard Rock Harvest Buffet over on the boardwalk. The Harvest Buffet at Hard Rock is a little bit cheaper, not by much, but I'm going to say four or five bucks cheaper than the Borgata here. They also have that seafood buffet on Thursdays, all you can eat seafood. If you'd like to check those videos out of the Harvest Buffet at the Hard Rock, they are available here on the New York channel. I will say the Borgata is a little bit better at labeling their stuff here at the buffet. Uh, sometimes you walk around the Hard Rock Buffet and uh, it's kind of like a mystery sometimes what you're putting on your plate but it seems to be pretty well labeled here at the Borgata. And here we have the Asian station, a personal favorite of mine. I have a friend who recently told me that as far as Chinese food is concerned, most of this stuff you will not find in China. Uh, for example, their broccoli is completely different. There's no such thing as general Tsao chicken in China. This is what I was told. Um, pork lo mein, uh-uh. And it got me thinking, I knew I was going to do this buffet video, so what have you heard? Is any of this food available in China? Let me know. Leave a comment below. This area looks like a little of this, a little of that, but it all looks pretty good. By the way, I was recording this with my Sony video camera, and uh, it was kind of like an experiment, this uh, video here. And I'm really impressed with the uh, sharp images it takes, especially close-ups of food in low-light situations, which is why I bought the camera. Uh, but the autofocus was really slow, so you might be noticing that when I focus on the labels and stuff, or even a close-up on the food. Uh, but I, it's a lesson to be learned, and it's a learning process. So uh, again, I really do enjoy this camera a lot, and I think I'm going to be using it more and more as I go forward. Mm -hmm. 
sirloin steak. Now I haven't seen that in a buffet for quite a while and I'm definitely a meat and potatoes type of guy. Gonna be picking up some of that soon. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. This is what I was talking about. My camera's freaking out right now. What do you want me to focus on? It's a good camera. The problem is it's a lot smarter than I am. I have to say the buffet is pretty clean. There's one or two areas that need a little uh, cleaning up, but they're pretty much on top of everything here and everything is really well kept. The trays and bowls are nice and fresh and filled pretty regularly. You don't see too many empty things here and uh, the staff is really good at wiping up around them. I don't know about you guys, but I've never had good buffet pizza. Maybe I'll try some later and let you know what I think. Alrighty, enough looking, let's start eating. My first plate, of course, as usual, is a shrimp cocktail. I also have some what looks like Old Bay peel and eat shrimp and some sushi rolls. By the way, this is what I'm talking about. When the camera and myself seem to work together, I think the results are fantastic. Everything on this plate was ice cold as it should be and the shrimp were firm, not mushy, they're really fresh and even the sushi, which I don't eat sushi in uh, too many buffets or places that I'm not familiar with, but uh, the sushi is pretty good. Okay, off to the fried food station. Now here's a question I want to put out there and I hope you guys will comment below is I'm going to assume most of you eat at buffets like I do. You go to a station, you fill up your plate from that station and then you eat it and then go to a different station. Or 
do people normally like put a little salad on their plate and then go over to the fried shrimp section and put that on their plate and maybe go over to the uh, I don't know baked macaroni section and put that on their plate or do you go from station to station and that's how you eat the food let me know in the comments below maybe I'm just weird well I know I'm weird but maybe I'm just weird as when it comes to eating buffet food and remember this is coming from a guy who typically doesn't start something on his plate new until he finishes something else on his plate. Anyway, the fried food was okay. I mean, you can't really mess up onion rings. They were breaded, not battered. I like battered better. And uh, the fried chicken was all right. It was a little over fried and it was a little bit on the dry side. And the uh, uh, mac and cheese, well, it was okay, but certainly not the Hard Rocks mac and cheese, which is my favorite buffet mac and cheese. Off to Asia. I'll tell you what, if my friend was correct about Asians not really eating the type of Asian food we eat, those Asian folks don't know what they're missing. So I picked up some vegetable lo mein, some general tzu chicken, I have some spring rolls, some dumplings, and a dipping sauce. I love dipping sauces. My philosophy is just about every delicious food you could possibly eat has a complimentary sauce that you could dip it in and make it even better. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video, and if you are, give it a thumbs up, and while you're at it, if you're not subscribed to the New York channel already, subscribe right now, it really does help the channel out. And while you're at it, if you'd like to support the New York channel, just click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I appreciate your support, guys. And remember, every super thanks gets a shout out on an upcoming video. It's funny how temperature varies from station to station, and it's not just this buffet, it's a lot of buffets, and this food just is not hot. It tastes good, but it's not hot like other stations here at the buffet. Okay, paisans, let's manjar on some Italian, yeah? Just a little of a few things here. I got some tri-colored tortellini. I have a meatball, some ravioli, and of course bread. You can't have Italian without bread and butter. How are you going to get that sauce off that plate if you don't have a roll in your hand? The Italian's pretty good, and the sauces really make it. I, I always said that as far as Italian food, the uh, food itself is actually a vehicle for the sauce, just like I was talking about dipping sauces before. Uh, but the tortellini, the ravioli, everything is good. That meatball has me concerned. I really don't eat meatballs out that much because I never know what's inside them. And uh, my mother makes fantastic meatballs, and nothing's ever compared to hers. But we're going to give this one a try. So meatballs need some kind of binder like eggs and bread or eggs and bread crumb. This one looks, and I could be wrong, but it looks like it's using rice, which I don't believe really belongs in a meatball. And I could be wrong, I'm just going by the close-up of my shot here. So it's okay, I've had worse and I've certainly had better. If I went to Subway and ordered a meatball parm, this is what I would expect. 
And now off to the carving station. You just saw some salmon there. It looked like it was pretty much finished off, so they need to freshen that up. And uh, I really want to try the sirloin. I don't see that too often at a buffet, and I really do enjoy a nice cut of sirloin steak. We have mashed potatoes here, a couple different things. Let's see what they got. We'll try some of these country-style potatoes. It's uh, potatoes with uh, peppers and onions. There you go, my meat and potatoes. I said I was a meat and potatoes type of guy. These, I think, are sautéed pearl onions, which would go really good with the steak. All right, so what I think I have here, I definitely know I have a sirloin steak in the country potatoes. I have some mashed potatoes with brown gravy. I think it's roast chicken and a sweet potato because, well, you just can't have enough carbs. I always say carbs are like little pieces of heaven that made it all the way down to your plate. Like I said earlier, I don't see sirloin steak at a buffet that often, and I can safely say because of that, this is the best sirloin steak I've ever had at a buffet. It's a grilled, it's glazed, and it's just cooked perfectly. Okay, now off to the dessert station. I think I'm just going to hibernate like a big old bear up in my Borgata room for a week or two. So, so much for labeling, I bought back a pie-shaped thing of chocolate with chocolate on top and then I bought back a square-shaped chocolate thing with coconut on top. How's that for a description, guys? All I really want to know is, is the coffee fresh and strong? So yes, the coffee and dessert was delicious. It was a really good buffet, and it's hard to tell which one I like better as far as Borgata or Hard Rock, and who really needs to pick a favorite? You just go to both, and that seafood buffet at uh, Fresh Harvest at the Hard Rock is unbelievable. Check that video out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.